Hey folks, Dad here with Elevation Diecast Racing. Coming to you from Mile High Raceway. And this is going to be what I'm going to call Friday Night Lightning Challenge. The parking lot is empty because they've all went down to Mile High Raceway. First, I'd like to give a big shout out to Encount over at the Chase Family Racing who was kind enough to pick some things up for me um, a few weeks back we made a deal and we got some new Johnny Lightning to hit the track and a couple of other candidates and uh, we were talking it over he sent this Dotson and uh, this is a custom from a fellow diecast racer who has uh, passed on earlier in the year so we want to honor him, and if anybody knows who that may be, uh, please leave a comment down below. Uh, we're going to showcase this custom uh, here tonight and give him a run and see what kind of time he runs. And then uh, we may put him in the speed shop and tune him up a little bit. But again, I want to thank you um, for sending these and being willing to pick these up for me. Of course, um, this was the Mustang and the Formula One. These have all been to the speed shop already. Uh, they are ready to go, ready to race. Um, they have warmed up a few laps on the track already and also to just show you what else we picked up here some more f-150s this one this the 1979 with the miller hobbies colorway and tampo work this one also a 79 ford the black hawk messengers and uh tampo work can't wait to get these trucks out on the track and a 97 first editions f-150 you probably guessed it these will be featured in the keep trucking trucks only number five and i am certain this puts them over the top so we'll be having another truck race in the near future and you might recognize this we just ran the 68 Olds 442, and he ended up getting in the case uh, pretty well. So we got another one to hang on the wall, and um, we're going to keep him around as part of the collection. And back up top, there he'll go. So again, thank you, and count And the Chase Family Racing, if you have not seen this channel, I highly recommend you go check it out. Uh, watch a couple of the races. He's got a really, really nice track set up over there. And we will be at the Chase Family Racing here in a few days. Racing at the Ford Jack Tournament. Mustang Jack. Looking forward to that. So without further ado. I am... Wanting to see what these new Johnny Lightning have for Mile High Raceway. So earlier in the week, we have been racing the top tier. And I have gone through the bottom half of this tier and I got to the other fast imports. Which you know, number one is this import. So I figured this is going to be a good place to start. We're going to recalibrate the line and then see how many of the new Johnny Lightning will beat out these ranks. Challenger always will start in lane number one. And the Ford Imports is currently number 13. 2-1-0-1. Oh boy. 2-1-0-1 is a really good time for Johnny Lightning, and a 2109 is not gonna cut it. All right, number 11. 
close race, 2 one, one, six. And for whatever reason, uh, the Johnny Lightning does like the, the outside lane, lane number one. So 2 one, one, six. And an 8,000 speed. Johnny, 2 one, one, four, best his time. All right, so trying to work his way into the top 10. He's got to beat out this 68 Charger. Wow, 2101. 2101 and a 24,000 speed. He'll get him again. All right, let's switch it up a little bit. Oh, wow, 2109. And that import seems to scream down the track. Yeah. All right, looking to take out the custom Tornado. Can he do it? Ooh, that was really close. Two one one four to a one seven. And this is why we run him this way. The Johnny Lightning Challenge. You got to run through the lineup. You're gonna earn your spot if you're the fastest. Two one one one. I'll move him on. All right, he's gonna try and take spot number seven in. The rankings, 2-103 and a 7,000 speed. Let's see if he can take it. Ho, 2-103 was the best time, and he also got him in this switching lane, so he'll be moving up. Next up is the 100-gram rolling refrigerator. Let's see if this fast import can take him out. Who he does by 5,000. 2013 and a 5,000 speed. He'll get him again. He'll move on. All right, trying to break into the top five. What's he do against Mr. Norm's Charger? Wow, 2103. These imports seem to be pretty consistent. Keep up on the wheels, keep the axle centered, and you shouldn't have a problem. He's moving up to number four which is the Camaro ZL1 pace car. Let's see it. Wow, 2104, he is just running steady. And he'll get him again, 2101, wow. Good race. Sitting in at number three is the convertible Barracuda. Can he get the Cuda? No! Oh, my Lanta. He beat him by 10 thousandths. So, two 105 and a 10 thousandths beat. And the Cuda will take him out. He'll stop him right there. And we'll run him one more time because that's not consistent with the time she was running. But next to that Cuda. So, the blue import will sit at number four. Not a bad run at all because he came all the way up, all the way through the line. So when we come back, we will take a look at these three, which have been reworked. These are the only three out of the previous Johnny Lightning parking lot that I'm going to give another shot at the lineup. And so when we return, we will see these three in action on the track, trying to fight their way back into the ranks. Stay with us. All right, we're back, and we are getting ready to start heat number one in the Friday Night Lightning Series. First up is going to be this Mustang Fox Body official pace car, 43.4 grams. He's going to be taking on the 42.1 gram Chevrolet Camaro. How fitting. Let's see if this 95 can beat out the Fox Body. Or does the Fox Body move to the next round? Oh man, the Fox Body out front. 2128 to a 29. We'll switch lanes. 2128 and a 1000 speed if that 95 Camaro wants to compete. He's out front now. 2121 is going to get it done. Good run. Next up, weighing in at 49.4 grams, is going to be this beautiful 66 Chevy Nova. Man, I really love this paint job. And while Novas aren't really known for their speed on the track, you never know. This one could surprise you. 
That's why we run them. You never know what's going to be fast in the Johnny Lightning class. He's going to be taking on the 57.6 68 Chevelle super sharp casting white interior nice blue metal flake paint let's see what he does staged and ready chevelle taking on the nova chevy on chevy conflict here here we go that man that chevelle just wiped him out 2149 and he gapped him that's going to be a one and done next up is going to be our ford delivery 60.9 grams Super sharp looking ride. We'll see what he has up against this 50s Ford. 63.2 grams. Another super sharp ride. We got Ford versus Ford. Let's see who gets down the lane first. Man, look at he gapped him. 2113. That's what I'm talking about. We'll switch lanes. 2113 and a too much thousand speed. So that delivery truck, he swam down there. 2111 is going to get him moving to the next round. All right, in the final race in this first round is 38.5 gram Indy car from 1979. He's going to be rolling up against this 2005 56.6 gram Ford Mustang. Nice looking ride. Let's see what he's got going down the track. Wow, pretty tight race with the Indy car with a 2122 and an 18,000 speed. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that Indy car gapped him 2121. Very, very nice. All right, so at the end of heat one, it's going to be the 68 Chevelle and the 95 Camaro. Then we're going to have that 52 Ford taking on the 79 Indy pace car. Let's get on to heat number two and see who is going to join that lineup. There'll be four more advancing from this group right here. So, 44 grams. It's another official pace car. Fox body Mustang. I gotta admit, that's my favorite style Mustang right there, the Fox body. That's what I grew up with. Pretty tough ride. And uh, not bad. We're going to see what he's got on the track. He's got a tough customer. Because here's my favorite. The 1972 Chevrolet Camaro. 57.5 grams of a small, vicious animal that eats Mustangs. We're about to find out if that is really the case in this race. Two good looking cars, but only one can advance. Look at that Mustang. They're both pretty good. Two one one eight and a 4,000 speed. Let's swap them. Camaro all the way. Two one oh six is a very good time. He's moving on. And this is what uh, is going to be what I'm going to dub the Johnny Lightning second look parking lot. We're going to definitely get another look at this Mustang because he's not slow by any means and could possibly rank in a later event. All right, another casting we've been working with is this vintage Jag, 45.9 grams. He's going to be taking on this really super sharp 1969 Pontiac Firebird. Just look at that. 46.7 grams. Let's see what he's got on the track. Jaguar and Pontiac. Look at the Pontiac go. 2 1 2 1. And a 16,000 speed. Oh, yeah. 2 1 2 6 is going to get him moving on. All right, next up is going to be another 69 Chevy Camaro, 52.5. We've been working with this one. Let's see if he's gained any speed since getting out of the shop. He'll be taking on a 2005 56.9 gram Mustang. And this one, well, you're about to find out. 
what this car is all about. Definitely a true test for that Camaro. Gap them. 2101 is lightning. And we're going to run him again and see if we can get this Camaro to get a sub 213. Or he's going in the parking lot. 2107. And he will get a 2129. So we'll work with him a little more. That Camaro is going to be havoc, I think, in the Johnny Lightning class. All right, next up, last race in heat number one, 76.3 Dodge. He's going to be taking on the super sharp tow truck, 56.7 gram Ford F350. Could be an F450. I'm not too sure. One thing is certain, he's a super sharp tow truck. We're going to see if he can take out this van. Tow truck, he does, he gets him to 109, let's go. And a 5,000 speed if the van wants to compete. Tow truck all the way, he'll be rolling on to the next round. And with this van running the times it ran, it is no slouch. Definitely going to get another look in a future event. And there is a look at your top eight qualifiers. We're going to find out next Friday night. Not only who's going to be the top to advance on. The top three are going to compete. And those top three are going to run through the ranks. And we'll see. We'll get as many in there as we can. But we'll start with the top three. For right now. We're going to run through a couple of these. And show you some times to be looking for. In the Johnny Lightning class. And the record currently held by the Studebaker. Coca-Cola Studebaker at 2087. Alright. Let's run through the top ten. And just kind of see where these guys are at. We'll roll with the Mako Shark. And we'll just roll them right in order. Just like you would a regular Johnny Lightning Challenge. You got to run the gambit. You got to run through the line to get to the top spot. So, Custom Tornado number 9, Mako Sharp, number 10. And true to form, 2117, or 2121. So, a 4,000 beat separates spot number 10, spot number 9. And that's even closer, but the Tornado is going to keep on. Number 8 and 9. Oh yeah, pretty tight race. Two one oh eight to a one four. Six thousand feet separating the eight and nine position here. And a ten thousand feet. So that's pretty good. We're running right down the line. And up next is the hundred gram monster. He's number seven. Oh yeah. Two one 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 and a eight thousand feet. Can he pull off more than 2111? It looks like it. Yeah, he does. Look at him go. 2103. And the rolling condominium goes down. Up next is Mr. Norm's Charger. Let's see what that street rod's got. Look at him go. Putting down some time. 2103 in a 5,000 speed. I'm telling you, any given race day, these positions can switch. We're going to have to run these Johnnies once a week because look at him go. He's running some really good time. All right, after beating out Mr. Norm's Charger, it's this 69 ZL1. Um, it doesn't get any easier. The top five in the lightning round is pretty consistent. But he does get a 1,000 speed with a 2106. Let's see if the ZL1 can come back. And it does not look like it. 2 101, he seems to be getting faster. Let's roll. Number four is the light blue colorway of the fast imports. 
uh, Johnny Lightning can be found at Hobby Lobby. Um, very rarely will you ever see them in a Walmart, but they that's where the red one came from. But he is currently my number four in the Johnny class. Let's see if the street rod can take him out. Oh man, wow, can he ever. 2103, he's running consistent. And a 9,000 speed. 2105 does not get it. It'll be the number three CUDA. Let's see if this convertible can get it done and stop this street rod. Yeah, he will. 2099 and a 4,000 speed. No shame in losing against this Barracuda because I'll tell you what. He's pretty fast and he's pretty consistent. Looks like our street rod will be heading to the number four spot. And let's test the consistency of the newfound second place ranked Studebaker. Look at him go. 2105 to a 10, 5,000 speed. 2099 and a 5,000 speed. That's going to move him up to number two. Looks like this convertible wants his number one spot back. He's going to get his shot right here. Fast import shutting him down. 2101 and a 6,000 speed. Or the CUDA goes to number two. Yep. 2100 and that fast import is number one in the Johnny class thus far. And that does exclude the Coca-Cola Studebaker, which is in the top tier rankings at number six fastest car that I have so far. And notwithstanding his predecessor, the Blackwood Flames Camaro, which we will find out where he ranks when he gets back to Mile High Raceway very exciting event coming up if you have not gotten your eyes fixed on the scale racing channel in the light heavyweight tournament go over there like subscribe watch the qualifying race for the light heavyweight championship tournament and coming up very soon is going to be the conclusion of that race we're very much looking forward to seeing how Elevation Diecast Racing does over there on the Scale Racing Channel Quarter Mile. Should be an exciting event to watch. That's going to be all this week for Friday Night Lightning. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got a new number two and a new number four. He climbed his way, what was he at, number nine or number ten? Number nine. So very, very good driving. Next week, we will get this next round of racing. We'll find out who the top three are of these eight. And then, we'll run them through the Johnny class. From all of us here over at Elevation Die Cast Racing, if your car isn't fast, at least it'll look good on the shelf.